Let feast the eyes of the faithful. Know your goddess. Know her command. Swear to Iron Hand. One more step, and a blow is to chunks. An ashen scent fills the air. The barrel is filled with smoke powder. Chuck. I know he's well and truly mad. Shut your mouth, Hoon, or I'll shut you down. Liar! I know what you are. One of Nia's cult goons. Sailed right in. Better to die in this shit heap than rot in moonrise. You want me? Come get me. Don't do this. Don't pretend you, you give a shit about me. Can't do it. Go on, drag me to moonrise. I'll make you cult nutters suffer. You want to barter with rune powder? Look, you have no idea what you're dealing with. Any true Iron Hand would trade their life for a grain of this stuff. I'll spare you a vial. I go where there's shit to stir, and there's no shortage of options. I'm getting gone. You ought to do the same.
will get nowhere with just axes. Thrin's gone touched in the head. That's the cult's doing. Who's the statue you think? Human. Culprits are spreading like flies on ship. Yes, true soul. That's Moonrise, keeping tabs. Nier says they've scryers watching their absolute followers for trouble non-stop. You don't know about the seat of the absolute? No doubt you'll see it for yourself soon enough. That's so. Set it near the rubble and ignite it. That'll blow the drow out. I'll peel your balls like potatoes if you don't move! And you better hope that's the worst of it. As you near the rubble, a fragmented voice clutches at your mind. A true soul! True soul! Finally, you must clear rubble, filling poison! Expedition! Passage trapped! Gnomes useless! Don't trust Berks! Get me out! View through Nier's eyes as a blur. You only make out a bit of rubble and few moving figures. You sense Nier's frustration, tinged with rage. As the connection fades. Out of the way! One spark and it'll blow. Blast the thing to bits! Excellent choice. Certainly. Attention! What are you waiting for? Your desire. Blast the thing to bits! Finally! Worthless slaves! Your incompetence has been my ruin! Nay, does not fail. You care for the weak true soul. Most curious. Ah, so you didn't come to my aid. You came to theirs. Thryn, carve out his heart and serve it to the Rothe. If he indeed is a true soul, let the Absolute save him. Insufferable, insolent scum. I'm going to enjoy this. Dwega, this true soul has betrayed us. Let his blood prove your devotion.
Don't slow down. Ready for this. in that corpse, brimming with potent magic. Well, you did it. Nothing good happens in the Underdark. You should know as well as I. I don't know if you've heard, but some of the Iron Hand gnomes, my friend Wolbrin among them, have been taken prisoner in Moonrise Towers. And so, to Moonrise Towers I go. Their fight has little to do with freedom and everything to do with power. I told Wolbrin not to go near them. Did he listen? He did not. I don't have time for this. The Iron Hand Gnomes might already have their hands on rune powder. Certainly not. In case you haven't been paying attention, my friend has been taken captive. He needs me. Ha. I was unlucky twice. The odds of it happening again are very slim. Then again, a small rest might be prudent. Uh, give me time to think. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. 
show me where to go and I'll try my luck. I'll have a better chance of rescuing Walbrin if I'm at my best. And, um, thank you. Drow, he did this to you. Beldron! I was so worried! Did Nier hurt you? No, no, I'm all right. Did the sergeant hurt you? Oh, who cares? We're together now, thank Iron Hand. <laughs> we ought to thank someone a little closer by, I think. Gadel Iron Hand, you may not be, but you damn well fight like him. I'm grateful, don't mistake me, but why help us? You're one of them, aren't you? And yet the cult didn't clap you in chains? Phew. I'd like to learn that trick. Here. The Iron Hand gnomes honor their debts. With Walburn gone, that falls to me. Hi. The cult kept us for slave hands, but Walbrun was our leader. He knows things. Things the cult would like to know too, it seems. You really would, wouldn't you? But not us. My people can barely stand, and we have business back in the city. <sighs> that business is what sent us after the powder to begin with. Now, we'll have to make other arrangements. It is. And if the pick swung the other way, I'd expect Walburn to do the same. My people will find somewhere to regroup across the lake, then onto the city. If you find yourself in Baldur's Gate, seek us out. We'll raise a glass to Walburn together. Are you all right? No. Lunk, no. no. What's up for discussion? You're better now than I'm with you. God. My sister! Dead by Nia's hand! Mana! I'm so sorry! Mana! By the God! Nina and Ricky, did they... What's inside? Suffer? He was over in a flesh. They're at peace now. Raise Iron Hand. It could have been you. No. I better think about it. Why the gummy? We're together. That's what matters. Looking ahead. Better now than I'm with you. God, when near damn drow, the decaying corpse lies before you. a true soul parasite that can enhance you. You can absorb its potential, open your mind to it. You already know how. You are not ready. That's all right. But try to overcome this resistance sooner rather than later. It will make things much easier for you. It's nothing, no. I swear. 
I'm your no. husband. Anything of use? I wouldn't have it any other way. And no, it will be you. With haste. I should speak up. Shit! You did it! What now? Beldrin's safe then. Thank Iron Hand. I'll make my way over. Won't be needing this poison now that you've off the pricks. Bet you'll find it handy though. You're a good one. I won't forget it. Everything I thought it'd be. This environment seems worthy of a Githyanki warrior's estimation. Ah, to be deemed worthy by the great Lizelle of Kresh Kalir. Continue as you have, Karlak, and you will achieve the same. I'm coming along, just not fast enough. Any word on my people? You did? Then I owe you more than I can ever repay. Thank you. I'm almost sorry to hear it. I hope to have the pleasure myself. There's plenty more guarding my people, but I'd say you've made a fine start. Don't know. Longer than I'd like, but a slow recovery, still a recovery. flesh may feed its growth. In dealing death, you have brought this circle life, and thus we name you Life Chanter. As our circle grows, so shall your song. Wherever you go, only listen, and you may hear it. Soldier? Why 
Worry not, friend. You'll find the key soon enough. I greet you, child of the dark. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? I was born with a propensity for arcane magic my people despise. It gave me the strength to resist the Elder Brain. Every waking hour I pushed back against its dire hold. My wizardry empowered me. The moment its control shattered, I fled. Before the colony discovered, I had defected. In the beginning, I had an arrangement with a lich. Excellent company, despite what one would expect. I required brains, he required souls. A perfect symbiosis. But our ambitions eventually splintered. I wished to better the world, and he preferred its rot. So I left his company. And thus, I now feed from those who act against the society's goals. Perhaps the peoples of the Underdark will be less inclined to violence if they comprehend the cost, yes? These are fine specimens. It will only take me a moment to brew them to proper potency. Omeluum turns away to prepare the potion, lost in its own musings. You must drink the entire draught. I can make no promises as to its taste. It will lower the psionic defenses around the lava. If I cannot remove it, I may still be able to tell you more about its origin. The potion is disgusting beyond description. The only mercy is that it goes down quickly. Not a drop left. Very good. As the potion influences your mind, you may find yourself acting irrationally. Try and stay focused. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid, but trapped like a creature suspended in amber. Sparks and colors dance around Omeluum, but you stay steady and staring ahead. The tadpole spasms, seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder than you are. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it means to hollow out your skull. lose their edge. You are stalwart, turning that tide of fear against itself. The parasite swells with power, more power than you have ever felt before. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. The parasite in your mind quiets, pleased with itself. Omeluum, are you well? That lava is like nothing I have ever observed before. Its power is unsettling. Such an outcome was not in my calculations. There is more to this being than mere stasis.
Such crude destruction may not waylay a lava like this, but there is another possibility. I possess a ring of mind shielding. It prevents elder brains from noticing my presence. It will not remove the lava, but it will limit its influence, both positive and negative. I would offer it as a gift, but in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? My research is in perpetual need of funding. Yes, I am willing to accept your coin. May it serve you as well as it has served me. That could mean any number of things. Of course, the lava remains. Be ever vigilant of its growth. Have you spoken with Scris lately? Yes. She is cataloging Kuotuan fertility rituals. Oh. Well, perhaps after I finish my research here, I'll join her.